Hello, hello, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can learn Photoshop in just 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try my possible best to teach you the base, what exactly you need to know in the Photoshop in just 10 minutes. Without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So when you launch Photoshop, the first thing to, you need to do is to go to the file menu to hit create. So you are creating a new project. You need to specify the background. Or the size of the project you are working on. Assuming we are doing for print, you go to print, and then let's say we are working for A4. I select A4. You could have also custom shapes, a shape that the, your client wants you to design with. So you can set those shapes over the width and the height. But since I'm working with Photoshop, I can specify that or the orientation, whether portrait or landscape. Once I'm okay, I'll make sure my color mode is either RGB or CNYK, and then my background should be white. You can change any time at all you want. Once you are okay with your setting, just hit what for the crates, and you are going to get what your background image you are going to work with. Anytime you launch any image this way, you notice that it will appear within your layer section over here. Once that is there, you can easily know how to arrange your layers. Okay, we also have the two options. These tools over here will allow you to be able to do any changing at all to whatever you have within your background. Okay. So we have the first tool over is a move tool. When you want to move anything across your screen, you can easily do that. When you want to import image, assume you want to import, import image and add image to this, you can go and look for that image and drag it straight to your background. So assuming I want to work with some image, I go to my image section. Let me just look for any image at all. So assuming I want to work with this image, I can select and drag it, come here and then drop this image over here. So this is one way of adding images towards your background or your workspace. I can also delete this image, go to also file menu, go to open and also use the same process to bring image to my space so that I have some image over the same image and then I can open. So these are the ways in which you can add the image to your Photoshop workspace to work with. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to say, let's, this is the background we are working with. How then do I move this image on top of this background? You notice this image has been locked. When you double click on this and then you go to OK. So double click go to OK and then you can unlock this image. With the move tool over here, you can easily move this image across. I can select this image and drop it on this background. I'm not going to cut this image over here. In, in another lesson, we are going to learn how we can use a pen tool. And I'll show you how we can easily cut this image from this background. This video is going to be short in less than 10 minutes. We should be able to be done with this video. So I can drag out to enlarge, drag inside to reduce the size. I can really do that. How then do I duplicate? If I need a copy of this image, I can control. When you press the Alt key, sorry, when you press the Alt key and you drag, you can easily get a copy of this image. And notice if you count my background, I'm having a copy of this. If you have this image and control G on your keyboard, you notice you can easily also make a copy of that image. Okay, so that's basically how you can add image, import image, and then use them in your workspace. If you want to type in anything at all, you can use the type tool. The type tool over here, when you press T on your keyboard, it will activate the type key. So you notice my type key is ready. When I click anywhere at all, I'll be able to type in anything at all I want. So let me, so let me say Photoshop. Okay, so I'm typing Photoshop over here. So you notice that I'm using my type tool. If you want to change the color of whatever I type, I just select and I notice over here I can easily format my color. If you want to once you select color, you have the eyedropper tool. If I want the color of this code, I'll just have to click and then it will change to that color. So we have different color option over here, color picker in which I can go across and then select the color of my choice. Okay, so you can easily enlarge your text. Once you use the move tool, I can come here and then enlarge that. Okay. I can click outside to enlarge that and also note that with my type to select when I click it become active for me and I can easily edit whatever I want when you have this selected you can also change the character you can change everything to caps if you if you come to this option you have what the character option where you can click on all caps and you convert everything to caps for if you are not seeing this character option over here, just go to windows and make sure that is what selected over here. when I select this over you notice that it's active to open the color character option for you okay this option here i can easily do some other changes over here to my document or my my text on the page but uh, i think this will be now let's go how we can create a layer everything over here is in order so let's say i want to add a background to this layer 
I can easily come over here, pick a rectangle. I need to click and hold down in order to see different shapes over here. We have polygon two, we have triangle two, ellipse two, and we have other ones. But let me just use rectangle, you just drag across over here and you create a layer. You notice this layer is now on top of my right up my Photoshop. If you come to the layer option, you see that I can reorder this just by dragging this below what my photoshop and you notice that now my photoshop is now on top of that layer when i click over here i can use my move to use the top arrow and i can move this thing a bit up and i can reposition this color it doesn't really appear so much why note that anytime you add any text over here and you double click on that text from the layer option you can have other uh, style of properties to apply so we have layer style over when i double click over here i can easily add a shadow to or a stroke to this so the stroke can be be either inside outside or center so i'm using the outside stroke and you can enlarge or reduce it i can easily enlarge the stroke so you see, you see what is happening so once i'm okay with it i just have to click okay we can add shadows and other things to our right tab okay yeah apply shadow so this basically some of the things you need to know within photoshop these are all layers arranged in a certain order let me if you want to delete it you notice that we have the bin over once you drag image and drop it on top of the bin that image will disappear when i drop it over it to go so i can re enlarge this and reposition it so you can do everything you want to do within photoshop you can drag and then reposition this if i want a copy of this photoshop down here i can just hold down alt and drag it down here and i can easily have a copy of that i can do the same for the layer as well i can drag and then also bring the layer down so you see what is happening we have these options available within photoshop in which we can use we can also use brightness for our pictures so with this image selected if i go to the filter or you have the camera what camera camera raw filter if you click on this camera raw filter you can easily add some brightness and some adjustment to the picture so you see what is happening i can sharpen this image you see if you take a, a deeper look at this it to add some smoothness to the skin this picture look a bit brighter already but if it's a darker picture you see, normally see the effects of what is happening I have some clarity other options we have all these options available in which you can change the look of your picture over here if i drag this to this side you notice that we see some difference between these two pictures okay i will come down here if i'm okay with what i've done I can just click ok and i'm going to apply that setting so that changes to my image okay we can transform this image if you click on this image and you go to the edit option we have the transform free transform or you can also press ctrl t on your keyboard and when you come to the edge you can change transform this image the transform option is having other effect that you can use so if you come to transform itself we have the skew distort perspective and the rest you select the warp look at what is happening i can drop out of the image and then change it to a different way in which i want we have other options available let's look at how the perspective is going to work if i use perspective look at what it's going to work. you see perspective is giving a different effect okay you can use perspective and we also have we also have the screw rotate and distort so you look at how the distort is going to work you see how the distort is working we can also use any of these properties within photoshop we'll talk about the pen tool and some of the other basic tools that we need you notice our background is here we can also change the background color but before that we need to unlock we need to unlock the background so i double click and then go to ok and if i double click i can have some layer effects over here so under my layer effects i can either apply a gradient or just a color overlay when i click on color i notice it's giving me a yellow background color if i click on this yellow i can change and then select a color of my choice for my color picker if i'm going across i can pick any color of my choice okay we can use gradient as well if i don't want it i have to deselect this and go to gradient so this is the gradient option in which i have my gradients in order in the folder if i come to my main gradient this is a gradient i imported 
onto my workspace in which I'll be using. So I have some default gradient colors in which I can use. I can select any of them and use. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel in order to get updates anytime we upload new video. So basically, this is what you can learn within what 10 minutes in using Photoshop. Within the comment section, type and then share your ideas with us. If I have anything, if you have anything to contribute, you can let me know and then i'll work on that or if you have a suggestion you have a video in which you want me to produce for you i can easily create a video on any content you really want me to work on thank you so much for watching this video bye bye